Hello and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be listening to another Of Tires and Oblivion song which has just come out called Lose Control. We've already listened to 1994 by them which was like their first release for a good couple of years and I thoroughly enjoyed that so make sure you go check that out as well. As well as their first song I ever reacted to which was over two years ago which was In Veins. So once again if you haven't already seen that. I would recommend checking it out. So we're gonna go into this video now. It's a lyric video, just like the other one. So, you know, we can kind of like read along as we listen. Uh, so we don't miss anything that I might usually have missed in a reaction video. But yeah, enough talking. Let's get into the video now and see what Lose Control is all about. Here we go. <coughs> oh, that failed. Here we go. Okay, hard hitting straight away. Getting straight into it. I like the flow. It's definitely like it's definitely like got a different kind of like flow to what like 1994 was like. I would say still got like them kind of bullet vibe, bullet vibes, especially with like the uh, guitar riffs. Every time I listen to these guys, the guitar just stands out so much to me. Drums are sounding sick as well. I think we're in for a banger. transition there into the next verse but that chorus was really cool in the sense that kind of like it was like slowed down like every word was kind of like drawn out a little bit it had like that real power kind of like behind the words I feel like a song where you know a live like performance of it you would experience the crowd sing along in like a chanty anthem kind of way so yeah I think they definitely hit a chorus really well there and as I said the transition is going pretty damn well as well so let's keep going a bit of time for the guitar to show off what they're all about, I like it. Oh, I like that. I like that. That was a nice, like, sped up flow. To that like that chorus is so singable honestly like this lyric video could be like <laughs> i could start using this as like karaoke like singing along to it but uh i wouldn't want to kind of like ruin your experience because uh yeah I'd, I'd be shit singing and i've got a terrible cough that, that's why but um yeah pretty much the same as what we've already heard there but i think we're going into something different now every time i listen to that chorus i just rock with it just that little bit more it's gonna be one of those songs where it's just stuck in your head like for the next couple of days Like there's still a lot of progression in this song. Like this bit, cool. What are we gonna get into? Or are we just gonna go back into like a verse? Oh. Come on, give me some high notes. He's still teasing, I wanna live it higher. Oh, there we go, there we go. Really using the entire guitar neck there, I like that. Oh, got some like, nice little hammer-ons, hammer mate, some squeals. Wow, that's really cool. How it's like slowed the whole song down at the end of the guitar solo. We've got some strings now, some orchestral kind of light instruments. High keys, that's new. Constantly evolving this song, you've got to give it to him. Oh, 
Is this kind of like a build yourself back up kind of moment of the song, you know? Show me your car mute. Yeah, that was really good. At the start, I was a little bit like, okay, is this going to be quite the similar throughout the whole song? But I think definitely when we got to like halfway through, it really changed up and evolved. That guitar solo, like it went on for a very long time as well, actually, to be fair to it. But it didn't sound like it was too repetitive. It didn't sound like it went on for too long. It just kind of grew throughout. Like we started on quite like quiet, low, muffled. Then we moved to kind of the middle range of kind of the guitar neck. And then finally we get to like the higher notes and like the sweeping and like the kind of um, the shredding part. So it had like a nice little mini journey there. But the actual whole song itself, very progressive. I really loved the chorus, as I've said already like many times. I literally just wanted to just vibe out and just sing along to it there, there near the end. It's so cool having like two real good songs back to back. They haven't really release any new music for like a good while so the fact that we're finally starting to get this again it's really kind of like hammering home kind of how good they were when i first listened to them because uh yeah i definitely like listened to their album which which came out as well around that time so uh, yeah i'm thoroughly loving the new music i'm so glad that we've got another lyric video i love the colors in this i love the lyrics coming across the whole imagery as well really cool and yeah, it just felt like a real good kind of metalcore song kept adding different things yeah the orchestral instruments uh, i can't even speak orchestral instruments the keyboard the guitar solo honestly just thoroughly just like a great song i had this kind of like tingly kind of like vibey uh, feel <laughs> which came across me near the end like i was i was fully like in ecstasy in that sense there. So uh, yeah, another six song from Off Ties and Oblivion. Let me know what you thought about this song down below. Looking forward to whatever other, whatever other music they bring out. Let me know what your favourite song is, buy them, and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you later. Goodbye. Yeah, that was, uh, that was great. Oh. Ah. Didn't mean to play it again.